Congratulations! You've been chosen to play one of the most dynamic roles in show business. Because we know that you can dance Paula Abdul under the table. Because we know that you have more charm than a busload of leprechauns. And because we know that Elvis never would have been called the king if they'd seen you first. You're gonna star in the Chuck E. Cheese live show! Hello and congratulations. As actors, we all feel the excitement and challenge that comes with a new role. And whether the part is serious or silly, each role has special challenges that require special preparation. This video will give you some general guidelines to follow, as well as a sample of the choreographed show. The most important thing, however, is the energy and creativity that you generate when you put on this costume. Through the miracles of modern video technology, my image was larger than life just moments ago when I was wearing this costume. And while it may have seemed humorous to you when my image shrunk as the head came off, that's exactly what goes on in a child's mind. To a youngster, Chucky lives in that magical land that's somewhere between fantasy and reality. When you put on this costume, you're no longer John Q. Public. You are Chuck E. Cheese. Performing the live show doesn't require years of experience on Broadway or thousands of hours of training in Hollywood workshops. In fact, if you can remember the three Bs, you're well on your way to becoming a hit in the showroom. The three B's are, be prepared, be safe, and be yourself. First, be prepared. Watch the demonstration that we're providing a few times to see if any of the choreographed moves that I do will work in your presentation. Take notes. You're welcome to copy as much or as little as you like. Also, take the time to read through the walk-around manual that the store has provided. Preparation also should include some rehearsal. During the off hours, run through the show several times without the costume so that you can plan your routine and start memorizing. The next step will be to add pieces of the costume one at a time. But before you do that, you should look something like this. Refer to your manual for the complete outfit, but it can get hot under this costume and you want to be comfortable. Now it's time to get dressed. The pants won't go on over the feet, so put your trousers on first. Then the feet go on like this. Run through your routine with the feet only so you can get acquainted with your feet. Next, put on the head and dance around with that for a while. And now put on the rest of the costume, like this. As you can see, the costume takes a little getting used to. So give yourself enough rehearsal time to feel right at home as Chuck E. Cheese. And remember, whether it's showtime or just rehearsal, warm up. This costume is heavy and muscle pulls can be painful and embarrassing. Being prepared gives you confidence when showtime arrives. And it never hurts to have a little extra confidence when the curtain is going up. Next, be safe. This is certainly the most important thing to remember when doing your show. Have an escort with you at all times. The escort is an important component of a successful show, and you should work closely with them to make sure they know what they need to do. There are six important things that your escort must do every time you do a live show. One, coordinate the start of the show. Two, preset any and all props prior to showtime. Three, start the show tape. Four, stay with Chucky at all times. Five, get the audience involved in the show, and six, put the regular show tape back in the player at the conclusion of the live show. The escort can spend the majority of his or her time cheerleading, but their number one job is safety. The headpiece you'll be wearing may impair your hearing, so be sure the two of you have your signal strength. Your escort should help you stay aware of your surroundings. Children may be swarming all around you, and the escort can keep you from bumping into them, or worse. Always stick to the established aisles and walkways, but even then, chairs and toys can be a hazard that you will need to avoid. Before you go on stage, check to see that the costume head is securely strapped in. If the head comes loose, it can distort your balance or even fall off. Minor emergencies are an inevitable part of any performer's life. While most of them are fun to talk about later, they can be embarrassing, unnerving, and even dangerous when they occur. The walk-around manual has several good suggestions for dealing with minor emergencies. But overall, just keep cool. And remember that everybody is going to key on you. If you're in control, they will be too. And while you're not going to be running a marathon, you may perspire a good bit during your routine, and it's important that you drink lots of fluids and not eat too soon before you perform. 
Safety is your number one priority. Think about it. Build it into your show routine and remind yourself to be safe prior to each and every performance. The third B is to be yourself. Chucky is all about having fun, and it's important that you create a routine that's going to allow you to be energetic and enthusiastic. Keep in mind that big gestures work better than small ones, and that Chucky is bigger than anything. Make your character someone that kids will look up to and remember. They're expecting Chucky to be bigger than life, so don't disappoint them. Every member of the audience wants to feel like they are a part of the show. Play the house, moving from one side of the stage to the other, acknowledging persons in the front, middle, and the back of the audience. Pace yourself so that you don't expend all of your energy in the first few minutes and not have anything left for the big clothes. Now, with those general guidelines in mind, start working on a routine that's fun and feels natural to you. The live show doesn't require you to do anything other than what feels right for you. So remember, be prepared, be safe, and be yourself, and you'll be a big hit. Now, let's take a look at the latest live show. This time through, I'm going to interrupt a couple of times to point out some of the things that worked for me that you might want to incorporate in your show. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. You know, in 1977, a personality burst up on the scene who forever changed the meaning of fun. Since then, good food, good shows, and good times have been virtually synonymous with his name. So let's get those toes tapping, those fingers snapping, and those hands clapping because he's here now. He's live. He's the ambassador of fun. He's Chuck E. Cheese. Love me. Do you love me? Now that I can dance. I can dance. I want you to join me. So just follow me. Come on. Ready? Go for it. Check. I can mash potato. I can mash potato. I can do the twist. I can do the twist. Now tell me, baby. Tell me, baby. Do you like it like this? Do you like it like this? This is the kind of work I could do all day long. And I see some of y'all want to join me. So let's do a dance that everybody knows. And I mean everybody. Now shake it up, baby, now. Shake it up, baby. Twist and shout. Twist and shout. Come on, come on, come on, come on, baby, now. Come on, baby. Let me work it on out. Work it on out. You know your twist real good. I can really move. You know your twist real fine. Do you love me? Let me know that you're mine Boy, that's fun. First, some general comments about a live show. Notice that the screen is covering the robotic Chucky on stage. Your escort is responsible for having the screen down prior to showtime, allowing the audience to focus on one Chucky at a time. Before you go on stage, ask your escort if this has been done. Because this show is specifically designed for a live performer, the other characters are programmed to complement your movements. Watch for places where you might be able to interact with Mr. Munch and the rest. The idea is to bring the show to life and take it right into the hearts of the audience. This particular show opens with a bang, and I did a lot of dancing right off the bat to let the audience know that we're all going to have some fun. From the moment I got to the front of the stage, I was checking out the crowd to see how many there were, where they were sitting, and who I could count on for some participation. I always figure that it's going to take the crowd a few minutes to get warmed up, so I never let that throw me off. In fact, I try to set the tone with lots of energy and motion. Okay, I've played the house and gotten the audience involved in the show. Now, in the next song, I'm going to let the robot share the spotlight and give myself some momentary rest while I do it. Let's take a look. 
Chucky, yeah? well, why don't you tell our friends out there who we are? You Chuck got it. Yeah. Greetings, my friends. I'm your host, Chucky e. Cheese. I'm the luckiest host there could be. What a lucky guy. <laughs> Cause I've got some friends that are friends to the end They're the band that you see behind me Right behind you Oh, I get by with a little help from my friends Eat pizza pie with a little help from my friends Oh, I'm gonna try with a little help from my friends <laughs> How about my friends in the audience meeting my friends on stage? Yeah! Jasper's a dog who's a faithful old hound. How do you do? I hope you like the show. Same here. Helen's no cluck. She's a boy world renowned. Come on, kids. Let's get the show on the road. Yeah, let's hit the trail. Pasquale's the man who's in charge of the beat. Grazie, grazie. So nice to meet ya. <laughs> The leader is Munch, now the band is complete. I'm jamming now, but I'd rather eat pizza. <laughs> oh, I get by with a little help from my friends. Eat pizza pie with a little help from my friends. Ooh, I'm gonna try with a little help from my friends. And we love our friend Chucky. Oh, and Chucky loves being loved. What do kids? See what I mean? While the spotlight is on the other characters, I can plant my feet for a moment and catch my breath. And when I acknowledge the other characters, it makes the whole band seem more lifelike. Okay, now in the last segment, notice how my escort alerts me by tugging on my arm when the little girl walks up behind me. Hey, Chucky, yeah? we got a surprise arrangement for you. Well, what is it? Oh, don't worry, you'll pick up the beat. <laughs> I'm picking up good vibrations. We're feeling those excitations. Are you feeling those good vibrations? We're feeling those excitations. I'm picking up good vibrations. We're feeling those excitations. Are you feeling those good vibrations? Are you feeling those excitations? Where shall you go? But we're glad you said hello. We hope it won't be long till we see you again. We hope not. Ooh, these are times we won't forget. Cause you're the greatest bus that we played for, yeah. All right, everybody, come on. I'm picking up good vibrations. We're feeling those excitations. Are you feeling those good vibrations? All right, when I look around here, I see a lot of little reasons to celebrate. In fact, I see a lot of big reasons to celebrate. So we want you to join in with us. You know the ways by now. We're feeling those excitations. Are you feeling those good vibrations? We're feeling those excitations. Yeah, I'm at the end of our show. But that doesn't mean you have to stop feeling good vibrations. Because life is full of them. You just gotta keep looking for them. So, we're feeling those good vibrations. Come on, join the celebration. Yeah! Have a big hand for the band, everybody. Jasper T. Jones, Miss Helen Henney, Pasquale, Mr. Munch, and the star of our show, Chuck E. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Hey, thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Hey, we'll see you later. See ya.
The marching band arrangement of good vibrations is the kind of thing you can have a lot of fun with. Twirl an imaginary baton or play an air trombone. Just make sure you build it to a big finish that gives the audience a reason to stand up and cheer. Notice how I was off the stage by the time the music ended. That's important because this is not a walk around meet and greet. This is a show and the show is over when the music stops. So don't be a showman with no show. Just go, you know? And that's all there is to it. Now to recap, remember the three B's. They are be prepared, be safe, and be yourself. Work with your escort to be sure that he or she knows what to do and when to do it. But most of all, have fun. If you're having a good time, the audience will have a good time right along with you. And isn't that what showbiz is all about? In just a moment, we're going to roll the show in its entirety with no interruptions. This will give you a better feel for the overall flow of the live show. And please, refer back to any portion of this tape that can help you with your routine. Now that you know everything I know, it's showtime. Let's go get them. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you know, in 1977, a personality burst up on the scene who forever changed the meaning of fun. Since then, good food, good shows, and good times have been virtually synonymous with his name. So let's get those toes tapping, those fingers snapping, and those hands clapping because he's here now. He's live. He's the ambassador of fun. He's Chuck E. Cheese. Munch, hit it! Gotcha. Do you love me? Yeah. I can really move. Now, do you love me? I'm, I'm in the groove. Hey, do you love me? Oh, do, do you, you love, love me? This is the kind of work I could do all day long And I see some of y'all want to join me So let's do a dance that everybody knows And I mean everybody Let's shake it up, baby, now Shake it up, baby Twist and shout Twist and shout Come on, come on, come on, come on, baby, now Come on, baby Let me work it on out Work it on out You know you twist real good I can really move You know you twist real fine I'm in the groove Twist a little closer now. Do you love me? And let me know that you're mine. All oh, mine. Oh. Oh. Watch me now. Work, work. You know you twist real good. Work, work. You know you twist real fine. Work, work. Who will you dance with me anyway? Work, work. Let's all have a great time. Oh. Tell me. Yeah? Well, why don't you tell our friends out there who, who we are? You got it. Yeah. Greetings, my friends. I'm your host, Chuck E. Cheese. I'm the luckiest host there could be. What a lucky guy. Because <laughs> I've got some friends that are friends to the end. They're the band that you see behind me. Right behind you. Oh, I get by with a little help from my friends. Eat pizza pie with a little help from my friends. Oh, I'm gonna try with a little help from my friends. Mm -hmm. How about my friends in the audience meeting my friends on stage? Yeah! Jasper's a dog who's a faithful old hound. How do you do? I hope you like the show. Same here. Helen's no cluck, she's a boy world renowned. Come on, kids, let's get the show on the road. Yeah, let's hit the train. Pasquale's the man who's in charge of the beats. Grazie, grazie, so nice to meet ya. <laughs> the leader is Munch, now the band is complete. I'm jamming now, but I'd rather eat pizza. <laughs> oh, I get by with a little help from my friends. Eat pizza pie with a little help from my friends. Ooh, I'm gonna try with a little help 
from my friends. And we love our friend Chucky. Aww, and Chucky loves being loved. What do kids think of Chucky? He's a rat you can love. That's nice. Oh, we can buy a little help from our friends. We eat pizza pie with a little help from our friends. We're all gonna Show Jump E! 